Here we go. It's our Tuesday morning. Uh, it's been minus degrees overnight. It, it's actually got down to minus one in the, the greenhouse. I did check. But uh, yeah, it's still very cold out. You can still see there's a condensation of frost on the, um, the, uh, the greenhouse and frost on the grass in the shade. So yeah, I'm wearing gloves and woolly hat. Hang on, look. Yeah, block. Yay, woolly hat, scarf. This is indoors. <laughs> Let me show you why. Let me go. Block. This is my little house. Oh, look. Hello. Hello. Hey, puppy. Yeah, she, wants, she likes attacking my gloves. She doesn't like my hands and gloves. Right, this is my little house. You see, beautifully tidy. This is my little blankie that I wrap myself up in at night. Yeah. That's how cold it is in my house. I don't have the heating on in the morning because uh, I can wrap up and I go out anyway. So when I come home from um, yeah, from the allotment, it's still, it feels warm <laughs> if it's cold out. This is my food cupboard. As you see, there's a lot of beans, some soups and uh, some other bits and pieces. But uh, at the moment, I'm eating really frugally. And here's the inside of my fridge. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> this is it, this is it. So there's my staple diet, potatoes. And uh, up here we have bread. Oh, and there's my milk, that's my oat milk. Um, yeah, so I'm living so frugally at the moment. I'm determined to get uh, this polytunnel. So I'm really reducing my um, food bill down. Uh, one of the luxuries I do have, shut up. One child. Uh, one is this stuff. This is about three, four pound a, a tub, and um, but it does reduce cholesterol. As you know, I, I keep on moaning about my cholesterol problem, so I have that on the bread. And what I, this is one of my um, stews. This is a bean stew, uh, and basically I just got all the beans I could find: broad beans, um, beans from runner beans uh, where they'd gone. Um, well to seed really and I just dried the beans and put them in there there's potato parsnips carrots uh, and other stuff I just threw it all in boiled it up it's absolutely lovely I've got lentils in there as well it's very peppery I, I don't know I love pepper so perhaps there's too much pepper for some people but that's my pepper so that's how I'm living at the moment very frugally uh, oh this is my heart spray. I have to carry it everywhere. Um, yeah, so... Oh, this is how I run my waste. Uh, this is all my paper. This, uh, I put this down here. I sorted it out today. That's why it's sitting there. That's going to go down the allotment for the um, the bins. Uh, this is my compost bin. It's a bit dirty at the moment. I haven't washed it out, but that's where all the... That's where all the coffee grounds go and all the other bits I do. As you see, I don't use plastic inserts in the bins because it's a, it's a, I hate plastic, as you know. So I just wash it out after every use. It's just uh, I've got some more coffee granules to go into there. That's the loose plastic. Yes, it's in a plastic bag, but uh, I reuse it as often as I can. And when it does start to deteriorate, it just goes into the same bin as the, um, the this flimsy plastic. This goes down to our local supermarket. And um, uh, gets recycled. Uh, this is the actual uh, recycle recycle bin, uh, but there's nothing to go in it at the moment. Uh, I've just emptied it into the main bin. Uh, I had these when I moved in. I brought a pack of these J cloths, and now these are my floor cloths in case you, uh, my kitten poops on, uh, misses the poop train, poops on the floor. Horrible little thing. My, my whiteboard telling me what day the um, bins come. I don't use my brown bin, uh, my, sorry, my green bin. So there you go, that's my little uh, thing. There's my seeds over there. Ba, ba, ba. Now I haven't actually bought any furniture or anything since uh, I moved in. It's all just the same, isn't it, girl? Hmm? It's all just the same. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want, look, 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 she likes, she likes, no, she's, look. Oh, isn't she lovely? Isn't she gorgeous? What do I do about you? Eh? What do I do about you? Eh? So when I go out to the allotment, she comes and jumps onto her uh, her cat tree. Boop. 
Yeah. She comes and jumps onto a cat tree and just waits there for me until I uh, come through the door. She, and then she snudges her like her face nudges. Don't you? Me? She's coming back for more face nudges. Oh, no, she wants to play. Right, so yeah, I'm going to go down the allotment later. After the, I mean, you can see the frost here. Look, look, that's the the shade of the bungalows, and there's the sun above it. You can see how frosty it is. So what I'll do is, uh, when uh, the frost has gone a bit more and the temperatures are a bit warmer outside, I'll go back down. Uh, I've still got all the digging to do around the back of the um, uh, the shed because I want to move the shed this week. And so I'll get on. I'll see you down there. Busy traffic. Look at that glorious sky again. Oh, absolutely lovely. It's still cold. It's about six degrees. Oh, hello. Look at that sunshine. And those vibrant colours this time of year. That grass, even though it looks Spartan when you're standing next to it, just looks so green here. Right. Okay. So here we are. Shed. Yeah. Cold bunker shed. So. Uh, I'm about to let's get my shadow away. You don't want to look at my shadow. I'm about to move the shed, so I've uh, leveled this off a little bit. Now I thought when I came over here the other day that I was digging deeper and deeper into this patch, and of course I want the shed to actually stand a few centimeters higher than the surrounding earth because that flooded, and I don't want it to flood into the shed. So what I've done is I've hacked all this flat and dragged the earth across to create a, a level bed. I'm not going to bother about putting in stones or wood or anything under the shed. Um, it won't blow over in the wind with all the weight inside it. And because it's got a plastic base, it won't rot. So there's, there's no point in building a shed base or anything. And who knows, I may decide to move it next year or install a huge wooden shed with a bar and tea making facilities for 90. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to empty out the shed now and it should be light enough to drag around. I'll show you the results in a second. He's got he's around the other side. Oh, there he goes. Didn't like me talking, right? So, let's show you what it looks like. Might need to fettle a bit, level up the ground under the uh, the sheds and things. Um, or they might adjust themselves over the course of time as they walked on and things. That's at a slight lean, so I might empty it out and take some of the earth off one side, put it on the other, that type of stuff. But uh, this is it, this is what it looks like. So, there's the pond. So that's what it looks like. Adjust the lean on the um, uh, coal bunker shed. But that means that now all of this space is free and it keeps it all confined over to one side. That helps with the sun as well, the shade. So that's its final position. So what's next? Well, apart from the fettling, uh, the first thing I want to do is repair the soil and get the grass growing again. So I'm gonna bring some grass seed down later and I'll grass all out there. I have no need to go behind there um, at the moment, apart from to finish the um, wood store and start stacking up the wood there occasionally. Uh, but I can, I can be careful with that. So all of this, I'll pre-seed round. I'll move that over to there. This can be moved somewhere else. Uh, I'll tuck all this away, cut those bits of root that are growing up, they're from the oak tree, uh, just there I think, and maybe sort of the um, other trees, the hawthorns, but I'll get rid of that, uh, and then I'll grass all this, grass it all, uh, grass around here again, now I'm not going to worry too much about this bit, because what I'm going to do is, uh, there are some... Um, paving bricks that uh, I can use so I'll make a little section here just for paving bricks so it has a lip where I can not tread into mud all the time 
But yeah, the main job now is just to grass it all up like this to get it all looking nice. But uh, I've got a bit of plastic, so what I'll do is I'll staple that around on the inside so any water going through the cracks can um, run down the back of the plastic. And then I'll hang another bit of plastic down at the front to stop the, the wind going through, put a bit of wood at the bottom as a, a batten to weigh it down. But yeah, I don't know if you can see that in the, in the light, but there we go, there's the plastic. And then that will be where I store the wood for the fire, um, apart from the kindling, of course. This will need leveling off. I don't know if you can see, but there's a bit of a step there, but I can level that through before I lay the grass. Um, but that's about it. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Another job done. I feel exhausted. And um, that's the trouble with this uh, heart condition is that you get tired very quickly. And um, uh, yeah, grass seed down a, a little row there. Not all of it, because this will be used for sowing cows. I need to dispose of some rubbish and that cardboard needs separating from the plastic. I'll put that somewhere safe for now. <sighs> but other than that, and I'll take this to the co-op where I can put it into the um, bin for loose plastics. But yeah, really, really pleased. Another job done. Feel quite accomplished today. So, I'm going to show you how the frugal live. Kettle's boiling. Now, this is how I get four cups of tea out of two tea bags. And I use it throughout the day. Now, this one I'm actually going to take down the allotment today. But I have done this just for sitting and watching telly in a day. So what I've done, I've filled a kettle. Uh, what I'll do is, as soon as the kettle's bo um, boiled, I'll pour uh, a small amount into the flask and that will warm the flask to uh, keep the uh, the tea a bit hotter uh, for a bit longer i'll um, then make a cup of tea with a tea bag blop 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 out it comes that will then be poured into the flask i'll make another cup of tea with another tea bag blop 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 out of that will come so that's two teas two tea bags Okay, then I'll leave that in there, drop that one in there. That'll be the third cup of tea using the two already used tea bags. So that will also go into the um, um, flask. And then I'll make another one uh, with those two tea bags, which I'll drink. Now, theoretically, uh, I have actually done it. There is still enough tea left in the tea bags to make a fifth cup. Um, but, uh, you know, by, t by then the taste is going a bit. So, you know, it's, it depends whether you like tea that much. It tastes a bit uh, stronger and um, overbrewed by that time. Or it can go the other way. Uh, you know, it can go wishy-washy weak. But it depends on the tea bags. These are Tetley tea bags. Uh, I did buy a huge bag for... Uh, little cat section. Uh, I did buy a huge tea um, bag like that. I think, I forget how much it was now. That was 420 tea bags. I think it was uh, four quid. Uh, somebody else saw uh, 440 tea bags, two for, I think it was six quid once. Out of, uh, I guess those days are gone. Get in there. Uh, yeah, so I need to find more of those, but I can't find any more in any of the big shops. Right, so there you go. That's how I frugally live. Um, well, yeah, you know, I mean, my... Um, Oak tea is expensive. Gosh. Anyway, yeah, it's cold out there today, so I will go down the allotment, but it will be later. Uh, I don't want to be um, out heavy breathing and doing lots of hard work in really cold weather. Not good for those with cholesterol. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. It's a time of day. I'm not normally down here. It's... Uh... Half past four, getting on for five o'clock, it's a bit dark. As you can tell from the green coat, um, I'm... Um... Hello, lorry. Big lorry. Uh, I'm, um, I'm not going to do any work today. I've been working. I just came down to have a quick check on the allotment, see who's about on the, uh, the site. The reason I say that is the... Hang on. Don't go away. There we go, I just noticed that I haven't shaved today. I've been trying to actually keep my um, uh, allotment videos 
with a shaven face, but it obviously didn't work today. I noticed that the uh, the plot next to mine as is being worked again, and I think I don't think it's a new person. I think it's the same people from last year. So good, excellent that they're coming back and, and trying again. They've dug all out and all the tools moved around and strimmed, and there's a mower there. Uh, dangerous but there you go right so what have I done uh, I cut up a lot of this uh, wood so there's only the big wood left I, I did actually cut a few logs up as well with a saw I've raked all that uh, I, I haven't done the edges yet and the reason I haven't done the edges on any of the plot is because in this weather uh, the it can get crumbly and slippery and you know all you need to do is just slip you know like a few centimeters and you push down on the edge and that's it the edge is ruined so I'll wait until the, the ground firms up a bit and then I'll cut the edges proper so it's uh, all nicely in a line, beautifully. Right, uh, and grass seed. Yes, I grass seeded, as I said I would. I'm a man of my word. So, all around the sheds. God, look muddy, didn't do this bit. So all around the sheds, as you see, there's grass seed and on this side as well i need to do this bit again but i want to find those uh, paving bricks and put those out so there's all grass seed down here as well um and hopefully that'll all grow nice haven't got anything in there yet uh, the stapler arrived staple gun arrived today so for me to um to do the um <coughs> excuse me plastic keep the wood dry stop it getting dripped on and in that my friends is it um, tomorrow uh, I'm gonna I've got uh, a visitor a health visitor talk about my elf my elf and um, and after that I might do a video of the greenhouse and uh, show you what uh, what's going on there I, I still got to put together the last of the greenhouse video as I say unfortunately I wasn't able to video it being assembled because I broke my phone joy anyway that's it for now thanks very much indeed and I'll talk to you guys another time